into my YouTube career later, I finally got a proper camera and lighting and now I actually genuinely feel like I embody a pro YouTuber. Like for once in my life, I don't even feel sarcastic. I, I've made it. I'm here. Thank you for the fucking come up. I am so appreciative of you guys. Hi guys, it's Tana Mojo and today's video is going to be another installment of my Tana Tastes videos where I try random food and I tell you how I feel about it. But before I get into that video, I'm going to rant about something for like point 32 seconds. So if you're not into that shit, there will be a time right here on the screen as to where you can click to go ahead and just watch me eat some food. But every single time I do a food tasting video, somebody is like, this is sponsored. Like you like it too much. Like blah, blah, blah. It's sponsored. You've changed. Da, 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 da. I just want to tell you before you even watch this video, hi, my name is Tana Mojo and I've been YouTubing for about six months and I've had every sponsorship offer you could ever imagine and I've never done a sponsored video. What? Not one, Tana, you say? Not one. So for everybody who every time I post one of these trying videos, they're like, I just knew she's sponsored. They're like paying her to say this. I buy them with my own money, from my own debit card, from my own wallet because I am a fat ass who enjoys food. So no, no one is sponsoring me. Fuck, please sponsor me. Hello, I really like your food and pay for it with my own money. But yeah, so to all of those people who constantly think that my food videos are sponsored, they are not. They are the real me and I always buy the food that I try in them. But anyways, on to the next subject really quickly before we get into the video. It pisses me off when people like to go into comments and forums and sections and all this shit and be like, Tana's changed, I missed the stalker story, Tana, blah, blah, blah. She over-exaggerates her stories, blah, 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 blah. Okay, every single story I've ever told on this YouTube channel is 100% true. 100% true. One zero zero percent true. I have never told a lie. I have never told a story that is untrue. I tell you instances from my day-to-day -day life. And the only thing about them that I do is I'm a little bit loud and I'm a little bit obnoxious and I'm a little bit fucking crazy, but everything that happens is a real event, a real occurrence, etc. That is why I have a Storytime YouTube channel, because I have a crazy motherfucking life. Why would I make this shit up? Why would I make up someone robbing me of a thousand dollars? Why would I make up a crazy fucking stalker? Like, if I wanted views, I would just shake my fucking titties. I just spit everywhere. But really though, I don't have a brain that creative to make up details that creative. So for everybody who constantly thinks that everything is over exaggerated, it's really not. And I'm sure me telling you that doesn't do you any justice. But to everybody that says they miss the old Tana from the motherfucking stalker story videos, I am the same Tana. All that happened was is that I got a camera and some fucking lighting. I'm the same person though. And I hate when people are so angry about change. People change throughout their lives. They, they glow up. I hit a little bit of a YouTube glow up, okay? I got some fucking lighting and a fucking camera. But I'm still the same Tana with the same problems and the same crazy fucking life. And I literally have not changed at fucking all. Like, can you please tell me how I've changed because I don't know because I I haven't sold out I don't make sponsored videos I don't not cuss because it offends people I'm still an offensive ass dumb ass bitch I don't know I don't know what else to say I feel like I'm genuinely the same person that I've always been and I was like 0.11111% but hurt about that today which I know that that's what the haters literally want is for you to be butter at what they say but honestly when everybody is like saying that you've changed and you're literally the same exact person it's fucking annoying so yeah today i'm gonna be trying some snacks called munch pack and i paid for these with my own motherfucking dinero bitches and i'm gonna be trying them so yeah by bitches i don't mean like my loyal subscribers that i love i mean people who think that my videos are sponsored and give me shit when they're not sponsored yeah anyways munch pack is basically this box that you get in the mail of a bunch of snacks that are from everywhere, like from all over the f motherfucking globe. And I don't know what else. I, I'm not really well informed on this. I saw that it was food in a box and then it comes to your house and you don't have to go to the grocery store. And it's things I've never tried. So yeah, I'm just gonna try the things in this month's munch pack and tell you what I think of them. I'm not sure about the price of this either because I'm a piece of shit who ordered this a month and a half ago and it just came. But I will put that in the down bar below if you want to buy it. But again, it's not like a click-through link. Like, you can Google Munchback, buy it on your own, you know, because hashtag not spawns, hashtag broke, hashtag not a sellout, hashtag fuck Numi curling wands still, hashtag still the same ass bitch, hashtag still got a stalker, motherfucker. <laughs> so the first 
thing is a covered bridge. That's covered bridge, like they're covering a bridge. Me too. Homestyle ketchup old fashioned kettle cooked potato chips. Now I know that ketchup chips are like a motherfucking thing in other places. I don't know why America just won't. I don't know. I like tomatoes. I like ketchup with fries. This smells like french fries with ketchup on them. <laughs> Still not a beauty guru either. I don't really get why people like utterly fucking fuck themselves in the ass and obsess over these. This literally tastes like ketchup on a chip. Interesting. But it's not bad. I like it. Are you leaving? It really grows on you though. Like I'm gonna eat this whole bag. It reminds me of actual french fries like when you get them at like high quality restaurants and they're not like McDonald's like pig's feet fried in fucking chicken dick and they call it a fry. Like it's actually like tastes like a genuine like potato wedge fry with ketchup. That's bomb. That's really good. They get better as you eat them and less like Heinz ketchup in your mouth and more like French fries and ketchup. I don't know. The next thing is Cheetos Jumbo Comios or I don't know how to pronounce this. Everything on this is in Spanish and I would like to save myself from being that embarrassing dumb white bitch. It's like, can I have a quesadilla? Do you guys have fajitas here? I love fajitas. Like I don't want to be that bitch. So yeah, they're Cheetos and the shapes look like anything I could say is so like sexual and disgusting so like yeah <laughs> so this is my Cheetos Camilla and I got it at Sephora I think this is gonna be hot anyways I really think it's gonna be hot and I'm like scared like I really don't want to do this I don't I'm like apprehensive puts whole thing in mouth but is afraid that's what she said <laughs> that tastes like a tuna fish sandwich and like cat food. Like 110% this tastes like a tuna fish sandwich and cat food. I don't like this. I don't like it at all. This tastes like artificial meat. Like or like like those hot dogs that are like made of a bunch of different animals are like bologna. That, that is so bad. I never thought Cheetos would fail me like that, but holy fuck, that is so fucking bad. Oh my god. That is so fucking bad. Thank god I have this ice cold refreshing drink to wash it down. <laughs> Use my promo code below because I'm hashtag sponsored. Okay, this is one of those drinks that I see all the time in actual pro YouTubers trying Japanese snacks videos where you like make the ball go into the drink and then you drink it. It says to serve chilled and this is mildly warm but I live my life on the edge so. Pop out the center from the cap which will be used to open the bottle. Pop this pussy. Oh this takes force and I'm a weak ass bitch. Oh my god. This could go bad. This could go really bad. Go bitch go! I'm so weak. I'm shaking and I can't do it. No! I literally cannot do this. Like, not even kidding, I'm that weak. Like, I was that girl in high school, like, that I would get a water bottle and have to, like, ask someone, like, will you open my water bottle because I'm so weak and can't do this? I'm just literally turning red. I'm turning as red as my shirt. Do you mean to do it? My hands hurt. Do you mean to do it? My lovely assistant, Vanna White, is gonna. Oh my god, I broke. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. I feel like it's gonna, like, come on my face. Please, no. Oh my god, please, no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, no, like, yeah, no, like, yeah, no. You broke this thing, though. You literally broke the thing. Okay, well, I need to fix it. I need to try this. Hold on. You just try like this. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Why do you have to do it towards me? Oh my god, oh my god, oh. Oh my god, oh my god, no, 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 no. <laughs> Subscribe for more videos. It smells like Red Bull. I'm intrigued. My dick is hard. <laughs> it smells like Red Bull and, like, that cough syrup that they would... What is this? Oh my god. No, no. no. Okay, bye. bye. Have fun. Use a condom. I'm now actually gonna try this really fucking weird looking drink. It's called Ramune Premium Carbonated Soft Drink Melon Flavor. I feel like the face that you have to make in order to drink that is really perverted looking. And it honestly just tastes like cough syrup. I like, like a carbonated, thinner, like, Dayquil Children's Relief. I yeah, that's not fucking good. Like you could literally go buy Dayquil Children's Relief, pour that over ice, like put a little soda water in it, and like put an STD ball in it, and like market it, and that would be that product. 
So, um, the next thing is Haribo Sour Sketty, which is like spaghetti, but you know, like they just like couldn't. So, um, these are available in the US, so I'm not sure if this is like, they include like a US item in the box as well. These are my shit. If you guys like those sour punch like straws, you know what I mean? This is just like those without the annoying packaging and they're so freaking good. So 10 out of 10 it is Pocky, which is a milk chocolate cream covered biscuit sticks artificially flavored. I don't really know. These things have never been really like my shit. I fucks with Hello Panda hella tough. These are like the sad version of Hello Panda that are always on the Target dollar aisle and I'm like, what do you mean? You know that aisle when you walk right into Target where they're like, everything's a dollar and then you just buy way too much shit and you're like, I don't need any of this, but you buy it anyway. My God, why am I such a weak ass bitch? It's like so embarrassing. It is like 100% embarrassing that I literally cannot open this. It's just like regular fucking plastic wrap. Like, what do you mean? Oh my God, what the fuck? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I just talk so much shit about all this is not good and Hello Panda is. And uh, it's so fucking good. Oh my God. I feel like if Jesus, the Pope, and like Virgin Mary were to have like a threesome in my mouth, it would taste like this. Oh my God. Fucking 102,000 out of 10. I'm so sorry, Target Dollar Out. I fucking misjudged you. So the next thing is a saltwater taffy liquid candy, and it comes in like a little package like this. And I was really, really, really excited about this until I found out that the flavor was orange. And if you guys know me, you know that I pretty much hate orange flavored anything. I think that like creamsicle flavored stuff isn't as bad, but like orange, just like straight up motherfucking citrus ass orange, I hate it. It doesn't taste anything like an orange either. It tastes like fucking shit flavoring that scientists made in a motherfucking lab. Like bitch, you ain't fooling nobody. This doesn't taste like an orange. The packaging for this really, really alarms me. I feel like people would use this to like refill heroin needles. Like it's really weird. What? It's like the consistency of Crest toothpaste, like original Crest toothpaste. What the fuck? No. That tastes how Play-Doh smells. You know how Play-Doh smells because when you were a kid you'd be like, yeah, yeah, like you would smell the Play-Doh, like you know what I mean? That literally smells and tastes like Play-Doh. Looks like Play-Doh. I'm unhappy. The next thing is Choco Boy and there is like this friendly little mushroom man on it and then all of these mushrooms everywhere and just like a thumbs up. And I feel like this is literally saying like, hey kids, trip on shrooms, do some drugs. See a little bit afraid to eat this. I feel like I'm ingesting drugs. Like I'm not even kidding you. Do you guys remember in health class, like in eighth grade, how they would have like those documentaries on like mushrooms and like Molly and like all the like drugs that are like hip and whatever. And they would show like up close slides of like the drugs. I genuinely feel like when they were like, don't do mushrooms, it was just like an up close slide of this product. I honestly don't want to eat this. Like, I feel like I'm going to get roofied. Like, I, sorry. <laughs> I'm literally that person that orders a munch pack, gets something in the mail from a munch pack, pays for it, opens the package myself, and then is still convinced that it's a roofie and I'm going to hallucinate. Trust issues as fuck, man. The next thing is by Homestyle Candies and it is Peanut Log. This kind of looks like my shit after I eat Cafe Rio, but I think it's just gonna be like a like a dank ass granola bar. Oh, there's like shit in the middle. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is like those Nature Valley bars, you know, the really fucking good ones that just get crumbs everywhere. Like you'll literally find crumbs in like your asshole hairs later. Like it's like one of those, but without the crumbs. I think there's marshmallow in the middle. Oh my god. When I was a kid, all of my friends would bring peanut butter and marshmallow spread sandwiches to school. And my parents wouldn't let me eat that because it was like unhealthy and there was like too much sugar. And I'd have jelly and I was like this like the one kid that didn't get the marshmallow spread. And I just like wasn't cool because of it. And I just like to this day, the combination of peanut butter and marshmallow just tastes like fucking sorrow and bullying. So next thing is Abba Zabba's sour taffy, which is also available in the US. I have way too many cavities for this, thank you, no thank you. Oh no. Kinda tastes like an eraser, kinda tastes like nothing. Genuinely, look, but, 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 but. Tastes like a fucking eraser. I mean that, like if you took a pencil 
And I'd be a razor without would taste with that. I'm not even kidding, like at all. It, in the slightest. Also kind of like soap, like body gel, body wash from Bath and Body Works. No. Ever since I drank that soda, I just have like the fattest pain in my side. And it's like gnar. Like I think that that honestly just gave me appendicitis. I'm like not even kidding at all. This pain in my side is getting so bad. Like I'm literally like, no exaggeration. I have the gnarliest pain in my side. It hurts so bad. Next thing is rip rolls, which come in these little packages. This really reminds me of like my childhood. Oh, they're so cool. The side's like rainbow. This is like those airhead sour belts that are rainbow. I also just struggled opening that. I know I'm gonna like this, like no doubt in the world. These kind of candies, like the sugary, just fuck your fucking teeth in that asshole. Terrible for you, way too much sugar, slightly sour, you know, kind of candy. That's my shit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm having the worst pain in my side. The pain in my side is so bad, oh my god. And the fact that I have no idea what is making this pain because I just ingested like 30 things is also really alarming, I mean. Okay, so that is it for this little munch pack, unboxing, trying, Tana Tasa munch pack. I don't know, munch pack is a really, really weird word. I feel like that's something that someone would call their vagina somewhere across the world. I don't know, yeah. I tried all these things. I didn't really hate anything. I did not like the soda, and I did not like the eraser candy. And I think there's one, those fucking Cheeto crab STD looking ass chips I did not like, but everything else was phenomenal. And for the money, that is really cool. I'm definitely gonna keep buying that because like, I can grocery shop less now and be fat in my house. Like, I can be watching Netflix, walk downstairs, get this, and then like, go back upstairs. Just, this is the best thing ever. So if you guys wanna keep Watching me try munch packs, let me know. If you want any me to try any kind of food, leave it in the comments below. Any kind of video request, you can always leave them down there. I'm always in the comments talking to you guys. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you in the next motherfucking video. Bye.